Hello YouTube, this is HD Video Tuts here and today we're going to do a simple tutorial on how to make a simple typographic logo for a fake company that doesn't exist. Alright, so first thing you're going to need is a font and um, just go get any font. Um, I'm going to use a font called Aparajita and uh, you could just use Times New Roman. So we're going to call this company Dream Crafters. Crafters. Um, it's a little glitchy, but don't worry about that. <clears throat> so I don't think I want that space there, but I'm not sure. So all I'm gonna do is make these two two different layers. Um, so so that I can adjust later on. So click dream, and write dream and then have that and write crafters. Doesn't matter where. Crafters. And just line them up. All right, so the first things we can notice is these letters are way too close together for a logo to work. It needs some space to breathe. All right, that's one thing you need to keep in mind about typograph typographical uh, logos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this, go to character, and by the way, this is for you to learn. I already know this crap. I already know this crap. So, so just gonna add some space in between. A uh, hundred is I think it was a little bit too much. Remember, it was we're using the VA, which is um, it's basically the space in between the text. Fifty. Um, 50 looks okay. We're gonna do the same thing with this. Uh, go right here. 50. Okay. I'm gonna get the selection tool again and just move it to the right. And I think this looks much better than what we had last time. But as you can see, you can't really separate this. So now what we're gonna do? We're gonna add a little graphical element into this uh, so it looks a little bit sleeker so we're going to get the eclipse tool um, make sure stroke is none so that's a red uh, horizontal thing and make sure this is black we're going to go to the crafters and we're just going to drag out and press alt and this is going to center wherever you clicked and press control I'm sorry press shift this is gonna make sure you have a perfect circle alright so what we want is kinda like a moon going on and this is not gonna work because as you can see it has to come around all the way I want it to come around all the way I'll explain this Alright, so just send, try to center it on the crafters and then just hold on alt shift and boom. I want to go up a little, up a little bit more. Try to center it with everything. Alright, it looks like it's centered. Now I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to get the selection tool again and then just uh, can go like this but that wouldn't work so what you gotta do you gotta go like right here press uh, shift and then just and make sure you center it alright now we don't know that this is 100% centered so we're going to select both the up and the bottom one and go to our pathfinder and there's an alignment tab, align tab and we're going to center it um, horizontally, vertical align center click that and it's going to center it alright now we're going to go to the pathfinder and we're going to click uh, minus front actually before we do that um, let's nudge it one time to the right one time more 
actually yeah we have both selected so both are moving so select that one and boom once is fine now select both and minus the front all right so this did not work at all and let me explain to you why this worked if you if your intention was to make um, the crafters C disappear and just have this but I want the C inside the moon I know this doesn't really look like a moon so but hey for logos whatever looks good floats alright we're gonna try to align it again so go to your align tab same thing what would be better is if we turn off the fill and make sure it worked it didn't work because you know why because this needs to be all the way inside boom now it's gonna work it's all about trial and error in the world of graphic design and you're gonna learn that when you're in school so think of me as like free school boom yeah that works that that really works all right <clears throat> you're gonna go to Pathfinder again and just minus the front and this time we're gonna fill it with black so we got a simple dream crafters but we want the C to be here so we're gonna do we have our crafters layer just gonna select that press the little O and clue to object expand select uh, select object select fill blah 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 alright put the path uh, put the moon thing we made inside the group layer right below the C so there we go we're going to select the path and the C and we're going to click minus front alright we got dream crafters right here but this isn't done yet we want to come here and oops. we want to come here alright let's just come here and go to maybe like 18 dream crafters and you just want to type like something maybe they're located in New York I really love this font guys um, if you're looking for a good alternative to Times New Roman Paragita it's really um, good font to go um, I believe it means unconquered or something alright so maybe wow um, increase it more so it only gives you an option to about 20 so you can just type it in so let's just go 400 I mean 200 not 20 200 what the hell used to be able to type it in what the hell all right we're just holding and clicking and dragging why can't I type it in that's super weird I guess it's acting glitchy um, because I'm running Camtasia studio but yeah trust me guys you can type it in try typing it in in your computer it probably will work all right now that we have um, a substantial size that we want we got a um, we're gonna go object expand this expand boom all right now Z 
and just drag and click and drag to wherever you want to zoom. We want to zoom right here because we want to place it correctly. Alright. Alright, you're going to go to view, guides, I'm sorry, view rulers, show rulers. And that's just so that we can get guides to see where our D begins. And that's where we want our N to begin. And let's take a look at what crap. Sorry about that. Let's drag out another um, M uh, guide to where for the K. And I think this is looking much much better. All right, um, view hide guides. I think this looks great. Um, definitely, you should work on the positioning of uh, the New York. It should be up. Yeah, that works. Um, I would make it a little bit more smaller. Um, but this is your basic tutorial on uh, how to uh, make a simple logo. So what did we learn today? We learned how to make um, shapes out of fonts, out of normal words. Um, uh, you know, separate these. And we learned how to use the Pathfinder tool to minus objects. And I think that's uh, great uh, for a beginner. And I'll be trying to do these beginner's projects just so that you learn to use these tools. Remember, the point of these um, tutorials are not for you to become master designers, but for you to uh, for but for you to get started started in learning to use these tools that I had difficulty learning when I was uh, beginning. Um, so I hope you liked it. Um, I love making this. Uh, if you liked it, subscribe to this channel and if you also liked it, make sure to visit my um, website jointhedesigner.com. It's a blog. Um, make sure to visit my YouTube channel which is on a different YouTube channel which is jointhedesigner youtube.com slash jointhedesigner. Uh, over there I talk about multiples of stuff. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching and subscribe. Peace.